hello everyone i welcome you to today's class and as we are completing our modulo arithmetic topic let's now go through together on how to use our calculators in finding a number in a given modulo so i'm going to own the calculator by default the calculator should be on d if it is so now let's pick some examples and solve together the first example we are going to pick is 7 mode 5 in using the calculator to solve a modulo question we press on division so it becomes 7 divided by 5 equals we are going to get one whole number 2 over 5 the final answer is always going to be a numerator, which is 2. Let's go back and pick another example. We have 10 mode 3 equals, what will be our answer? 1. Excellent. That is our numerator. Good. Now let's pick a negative number. So we have negative 11 mod 6. But for more negative questions, it is quite technical. So you add the base to it. That is a 6. So it's going to be negative 11 divided by 6 plus 6 equals, so you have 4 whole number, 1 over 6. The answer still remains as a numerator. Therefore, the final answer is 1. Another one. Negative 9 mode 5. No. So you come back. Negative 9 mode 5. Don't forget to add the base to it. So equals... What is the answer? 1 as a numerator. Excellent. So that is how we use a calculator in solving modulo arithmetic. So for in examination and for objective sake, you can easily use a calculator to solve your modulo arithmetic question. Thank you so much for going through this lesson with me. I will encourage you that you practice more on your own to become perfect. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share with your friends to invite all on board. So we meet again. Please stay safe and learn hard. Bye.